come with me on this fine, glorious Wednesday morning. Uh, we've got a BMW 123D in with lots of fault codes, and as you can see, I've got the smoke machine coupled up, and we have smoked that engine, and we have got another manifold failure. Now, this is a fault code that I'm more concerned about more than anything is this one here air system, air to EGR, mass flow, plausibility, which is a current fault. And as you can see, we have got a leak. Now, let's get down to the nitty and gritty. We need to remove this live wire strap. Disconnect it here from the bulkhead and from the alternate and then we can pull it out of the way and remove this cover. Now that we've got everything out of the way, we've just disconnected the ECU, uh, the wiring loom that's pulling over here. On jobs like this, it's about making making a little bit more room for yourself to make it. It might take a little bit longer, but it's going to be easier in the long run. And then we need to remove this intake pipe from the intercooler. And that'll just pull out the way. And we've got lots of room now. We can crack on taking the inlet manifold off. And there we go, that is one inlet manifold off. Uh, on these, the actual EGR tube which fits in the cylinder head here, it is rather tight, so you have to um, it almost feels as if you're going to break it, and it will just eventually pull out. Anyway, here's the culprit, the manifold. Uh, what happens is the the tube or the or the rail that holds the swirl flaps on that controls them, it actually wears at the end. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of play in it, and that's where your air is coming or boost is coming from. Now this vehicle was uh, coming up with a glow plug uh, relay fault. So before we put all in the manifold on, we're just going to check the glow plugs. Now I'm going to do it this time is with a bulb, a 12 volt on each one. If that bulb lights up, then glow plugs are good. I do prefer to use a, a multimeter check resistance, but there's many ways. So I've just thought I'd show you something a little bit different. And there we go. That is one glow plug relay off. Um, they are such a common fault on these. Uh, very simple to do, two turns and they just pull off. Right, let's move around to the inlet manifold now. I'm just going to remove all the bits and bobs that need fitting to the new manifold. Now we've got the brand new inlet manifold that has turned up. Uh, before we put it all back together, this EGR feed pipe, uh, clean it down as best as you can. And we're just going to put a little bit of red rubber grease around that over in there so it slides in that manifold perfectly. And another thing, I'm kind of glad in a way that this little arm here has come on the manifold because it has worn off the old one. Anyway, let's get everything built back up. Now that we've got everything fitted back to the manifold and before we put it back to the engine, we're just going to get yourself some 3M scotch pad. We're going to clean the mating surface down so it's nice and clean and make sure that no debris has fallen down your inlet ports. And that is the inlet manifold fitted back to the vehicle, making sure that you've got nothing trapped, no wires trapped behind that inlet manifold. Um, we're going to jump around to technical information now, which is all to data online, inlet manifold to cylinder head. 15 Newton meters, let's get it talked up. And that is one in the manifold fitted and talked up to Specaroonie. Right, let's get all this put back together. And there you have it, that car is now back together and it is sounding nice and crisp. Uh, I've had it running for about 10 15 minutes now. It was nice and warm. You jump around, read the fault codes, no fault codes stored whatsoever. Now, the only way I'm going to give it a proper try is if I take it down the road and give it a bit of a test drive. But no doubt it's going to be fixed. Anyway, for now, let's get it sent. Let's call it in the crossfire. 